Na mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga yetu upendo wa Yowest TV Natumai kwamba umekua na siku njema Umekua na lisali zuri mbazo Umekua na tazama DJ Viano pamoja na mchungaji wa kituweza kutubiri Hata mimi nimekua pale chini nimekua na barikiwa sana 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 Na neno limeweza kunikuza Na likaweza kufunifanya nikue bora zaidi Natumai kwamba wikilijalo ntakuweza kulifanyia kazi lile neno Nasema karibu tena andani ya the blessed one Na kama kawaida hapa tunakutana na mchungaji mbapo tunenda deep in the word jamani tuna yani tunaingia ndani sana hapo ulikuwa tu unahubiriwa ulikuwa unafanya nini unabarikiwa lakini sasa hapa ni zaidi ya mafunzo na mbapo tumeungana na mtumishi wa Mungu Dominic ataweza kuwa na sisi lakini kabla hatujaenda pale wacha tu nikaribisha DJ Viano kidogo aseme neno moja au mbili alafu aturejee tuendelee watu waseme neno lakini okay kuna MCJM anasema kwamba tuko ndani wote tunarudi mta hata kabula Paul anatazama uh, anaitwa hon uh, dr Isaac Joachim ako ndani na Lion asante sana kuweza kutazama na kumbuka unaweza kutupata katika mitandao zetu za kijamii mimi nakwenda kwa jina It's Alpha Dawin Music katika Facebook page yangu katika Instagram uh, page yangu uh, nakwenda kwa jina It's Alpha Dawin na katika Twitter handle yangu nakwenda uh, kwa jina at Alpha underscore Dawin sijui viano upande wako je nitapata DJ Viano Dopes DJ Facebook kwenye Twitter nitapata DJ Viano Kenya kwenye Instagram DJ Viano West TV family West TV pale vile kwenye Facebook kwenye Twitter tutapata West TV underscore Kenya kwenye Instagram info.west TV Aha. Katika nambari ya simu Tutupata kwa 0 7 0 5 7 8 Na tuko na mchungaji Mtumishi wa mungu Anakuna kwa jina Pastor Dominic Pastor Dominic buwana sifiwe hey, e, Umeshinda wepe Niko poa Labda umuambi unaitua Pastor Dominic Nani kwa sababu watu na shangao na jina moja kama mti jama Kwa kufusa hii kwanza kushukuru West TV Kwa kunipea na fasi ya kuwa malhapa Mtu Pastor Dominic wa fula Sianjo oh, Sianjo yes. eh, Pasa domi ni kwa fula wa Sianjo Anatokea semu ipi Mimi natokea bungoma tu Mahali panaitu wa mskoma mm -hmm. Pale hapo ndiyo naishi mm -hmm. Na kanisa niko pale tumta eh, Kanisa labda inaitua vipi Kanisa linaitua life changing ministry mm -hmm. um, Tuko tu pale mskoma Na tunashukuru buwana eh, Labda pasa domi ni kakiokoka ilikuwa mwaka upi Kuokoka tu achana kuwa mchunga aji um, Nafikiri pasta domi ni kuokoka Liokoka 2004 mm -hmm. Akiwa high school St. Peter Simonias Nini kiliku, kiliku fanyo wako ki? Ilikuwa shida ama <laughs> Ilikuwa ni Kwa sababu mdo mwingi watu wanakua kwa sababu wana shida flani <laughs> Hapo ndo siku Hapo ndo siku watu wana kumbuka mungu Ha <laughs> sana Actually ni kiokoka ni kwa high school um, Nilikuwa ni meenda kushiriki na wana see you Nikuwa ni meenda kwa pale Na mumbiri ya kawa na umbiri neno Na lile neno na lile kuwa na umbiri kaniguza sana Nikaangalia maisha yangu mm -hmm. ya high school struggles hapa na pale za school fees mm -hmm. Nikasema hapa kufauli ni mungu peke yake mm -hmm. Diposa nika wakati waliitisha nani ingependa kumpukia kristo mm -hmm. Nikasema solution yapa uh -huh. Nikasonga mbele nika mm -hmm. yesu Asa tuseme kama alikunge kuwa na struggles uwewe haungu okoka Basi kama shida zinafaya tunokoka mungu waleta shida zingi zaidi kwa sababu watu watu okoka sana eh? <laughs> Shida zinafanya watu watu okoka lakini like, uh -huh. sema ukweli mm -hmm. Pressure za life mm -hmm. Ndi, ndizo, Most of the time <laughs> zinaguza mtu anamua uh -huh. Ani hivi Nam. ni taamua kumushikilia yesu uh -huh. Uh -huh. Basi wacha mungu walete hizi pressure sana kwa sababu <laughs> Kwa sababu kama pressure nafanya watu okoka na watu Tutawa tunde watu wengi mbinguni na kama pressure nafanya fanya watu wako basi Mungu alete hizi pressure uh, sana. Na labda wewe uh, kitu gani ambacho uliweza ukikumbuka kabla ujiokoka ulikifanya hautamani hata wewe ni wewe. Yeye ni mtu mwingine. Um, uh, kitu chenye naweza kumbuka ni seme mm -hmm. Mimi nilikuwa mtu napenda vita sana. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa martial artist. Mm -hmm. Na nilikuwa mimi uwezi nikosea ukaenda. <laughs> nilikuwa mtu wa kupiga watu. <laughs> Aicho tu ndio kitu mimi naweza sema asingependa kufanya hata leo. Hivyo ni chunge. 
Ya nafanya hivyo ganipiga. Ah basi kwanza Dominic labda maisha yako saa ya uchungaji ikaanza mwaka upi? Kwanza kabisa kabla ni mchungaji mimi ni mwalimu. Mm-hmm. Ni teacher. Yes. Ambaye nilikuwa nafunza hesabu sana. Nilikuwa napenda hesabu. Nafanana hesabu sana. Uh-huh. Uh, mwaka wa 2016 nikapata mwito mm-hmm. Mungu akaniita. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2017 nikawaachana na kazi ya ualimu. Mm-hmm. Nikaingia kwa full time ministry. Mm-hmm. Nikaanza kufanya ministry, mm-hmm. personal work mm-hmm. uh, na business. Yeah. yeah. So nikaanza ministry 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, jamani unajua kuacha kazi kuacha kazi na uende kwa kazi ya Mungu ikwangi rais labda nini kilikupelekea ukafika pale uh, mimi ni mtu nasikia sauti ya Mungu uh-huh. so nilisikia sauti ya Mungu akiniambia chagua moja kwa saa hizi utafundisha kwa darasa uh-huh. utaenda ufundisha watu wangu uh-huh. na nataka niseme hivi uh-huh. ambao wanafanya kazi na bado wanahudumia Mungu hakuna makosa uh-huh. e, unaweza fanya kazi yako uh-huh. ufanye huduma vyema kabisa uh-huh. wala ambao tunapata uh, divine instructions za kwamba fanya kimoja uh-huh. basi unafuata na unafanya. Naam. Viana alikuwa na swali. Kwa hapo kwa kwa pato ni Pastor Dominic amesema kwamba alikuwa mtu wa hasira. Yes. Sijui lenda classes za karate na kung fu ama ilikuwa okay natural. Mhm. First of all um uh, pressures are life. Uh, sometimes we can grow mahali mm. penye vitu vitu ni tough yeah. you end up being a tough guy yani mm. life inakufanya unakuwa mtu wa resist kila kitu mm. sasa wakati nilienda kufanya training nikaongeza so akili ya ujana ikaniambia hakuna mtu anakuweza kwa <laughs> kwa hivi kwa sababu umeshaongeza uh-huh. akili ile ya ujana yeah. eh ukishafanya training mm-hmm. chuma moja mbili ah unaona body imekuja mm-hmm. akili ya ujana inakwambia hakuna kitu ambacho huwezi uh-huh. so um, ukiongeza ile hasira na uongeze training mm-hmm. naona huyu anakuwa mtu tofauti sana eh naam okay mbali kidogo lakini ni sawa yes uh, I'm just uh, kwa ile point ya painting mm. your picture now yes. wewe na mwalimu yes. na mwalimu amekukosea na uko na hiyo akili ya hiyo ujana yes. how did you handle that situation uh, lucky enough sikuwahi kuwa na shida na walimu nilikuwa na shida na wenzangu tu mm-hmm. lakini walimu hapa nilikuwa na shida na na waheshimu sana Ah basi that was the background story about uh, Pastor Dominic uh, Oshianju kama sijakosea uh, na natumai kwamba kama uko umemfahamu uh, kidogo kwa kidogo umeweza kumfahamu kidogo na utaweza kumfahamu zaidi zaidi atakapokuwa anakuja hapa labda wakati mwingine lakini kwa sasa we are diving in to, to our story kumbuka ni back to school edition back to school edition na uh, our topic ni standing for stand firm stand firm alafu uh, our text today na ni Ephesians uh, Ephesians chapter uh, chapter 6 verse 11. Mm-hmm. Kama sijakosea natumai uh, kwamba pasta ataweza ku, kufanya u, kama yani umekaa pale na una kitabu sasa ni wakati ambapo lazima uchukue kitabu uh, uchukue kalamu uandike chini kwa sababu we are teaching you today he is a teacher uh, indeed he is a teacher of the word uh, leo anatufunza neno uh, mtumishi labda unaelewa vipi hili neno tukisema kwamba standing firm and uh, according to our, top, uh, our text today uh, Ephesians 6 verse uh, 11 mm-hmm. hey, labda unaelewa vipi standing firm asante Mm. Um, first of all wakisema standing firm ina maanisha mm. e, kuna force ambayo usipo stand firm <laughs> so, <laughs> kiasi tuna kusema standing firm <laughs> kwa akili zako yafai kuambie mm. uh, uh, kuna force mm. uh, ambayo ina come so yeah. usipo stand firm ina maanisha utanguka kwa hivyo mm. kianza kwa kutia moyo kwamba mm. standing firm na yes. inaendelea kusema against the wiles mm. ama mm. the tricks mm. of the devil mm. that means kuna tricks ambazo zina come in life mm. usipo stand firm zikubeba yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kwa hivyo <laughs> as a youth kwa sababu leo ni back to school mm-hmm. uh, ni kwa hapa tu kutia moyo na kuambia kwamba uh, uh, there is always a force mm-hmm. that comes in life mm-hmm. a young person yes. ambayo tunatiwa moyo na biblia mm-hmm. kusema kwamba we need to stand firm yeah uh, labda labda nitasoma nitasoma efesians unajua watu wanaweza fikiria au oh, wanasema efesians 6 11 awasome nini acha nisome inasema kwamba put on the whole armor uh, put on the whole armor of god mm-hmm. that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the eve uh, of the devil uh, mm-hmm. ntarudia tena inasema kwamba uh, 
put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Uh, text ni Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 uh, kama una Biblia yako. Na mchungaji amekuwa anasema kwamba uh, wakisema kwamba stand firm lazima ukumbuke kwamba kuna, kuna, kuna ile force ambayo usiposimama uh, usiposimama na nguvu na ujasiri kwamba utaanguka. Labda uh, mchungaji uh, kuna watu wanajiuliza okay umesema kuna force zile ambazo zinafanya uh, uh, labda mtu mtu anaanguka na wacha kwanza nikurudishe nyuma uh, someone mtu akija kuokoka kwanza hapa uh, sasa hajaokoka akija kuokoka kuna vile vitu ambavyo anaagizwa kwamba 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 unaokoka utakuwa na familia nzuri utapata magari utapata yani utapata promotion kama yule hapo yupo kazini uh, watu watakupenda utakuwa na shida na majirani hiyo yes. ndio watu walikuwa wanaokoka most of the time walikuwa wanaambiwa uh, lakini nilikuwa nasoma biblia john 10 uh, 10 uh, Mungu alikuwa anasema yes utapata hizi vitu lakini uh, kuna kitabu sijui ni Matthew uh, Matthew 16 kama sijakosea ali, 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 uh, kitabu kinasema kwamba kwamba uh, uh, he will give us uh, he, he will send us as wolves uh, as 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 sheep uh, among the wolves yeah uh, labda unielewa vipi hiyo uh, injili wewe ulihubiri injili gani ndio uje usimame farm na injili gani ambayo inahubiri siku hizi je je unakubaliana una, una nayo asante uh, uh, um, kwanza kabisa nataka nikueleze kwamba um, how work to from air Mungu ana work na principles for instance if you don't work my brother you will not eat it's in the bible so uh, any 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 preaching haiendani na principles of god is your injili ambayo itasaidia mtu injili ya promises without um, conditions is 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 an, an a gospel that is not going to help people kwa sababu hata ukiangalia Deuteronomy penye watu wanapenda kusoma kuanzia 28 make you the head not the test but how some of us want he says that if you will obey the lord you are going fully see uh -huh. Kwa hiyo principle ya kusema if you obey the Lord your God yeah. he will set you above all nations yeah. alafu ndio wanze kuambia you will be the head mm -hmm. the enemies will come so mm -hmm. I say mm -hmm. our Somio story of us one mm -hmm. wana jump to verse 13 mm -hmm. you will be the head <laughs> and not the tail and I shout yeah. wengine wana kuja kwa Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 <laughs> <But in, laughs> I can do all, all things through Christ, Christ who strengthens me <laughs> story ya Paul alikuwa na ongea hapo kwa nyuma kwa Philippe uh, Paul alikuwa anasema uh -huh. mimi nime survive mahali mm -hmm. penye kuna food mm. na hakuna food uh -huh. I am I am at peace and contented when there is enough uh -huh. and then when there is no nothing uh -huh. sasa inamaanisha anasema yani kulikuwa na njaa uh -huh. na baraka yeye uh -huh. anaweza fanya hayo mambo yote na no, no, no. anaweza shinda uh -huh. so kwa hivyo mimi uza kijana mwingine wao nasema I can do all things sawa huko na roho mtakatifu hapa sileke ndio upande wewe naenda hapo wange Mm. Eh, mm. Tanks mm. eh, Uwanze kufly plane mm. Neliambia mungine Uwezi enda supermarket na ndimi mm. Mazena ukapata food mm. eh, Ugo ni pesa unapeleka Na principle mm. ya kupokea pesa <laughs> Utawak So Kwa so, kusema utafunga machu Alafu itishe vitu ziapie mm. Mazena iwak Kwa eh. sababu sahi mana I flow from heaven mm. Because the bible says that men shall give unto you Kwa hivyo mm. vitu zenye tunahitaji mm. Ziko hivyo Iwal, ukifuata mm -hmm. principles za Mungu, mm -hmm. utapata hizo vitu ziko iwal. Amen. Bwana azwani hapa niendelee. Pasta me boy. Jana niko kwa one of the function. Yes. Of a, a, an amazing jama alikuwa mm -hmm. uh, Holy Gates of Heaven, mm -hmm. drum set, wanafanya mm -hmm. harusi. Niko pale hivi and then we are just diving into discussion. Mm -hmm. And then I remember one of the verses to one of their good friend I told Marsh Sheikh said, "Okay, God style." And then you are asking each other, mm -hmm. okay, Pasi, you can help us to understand. Yes. When somebody has some God's type, yes. Kwa ni time ni tuko sa easy, ni ni time ya nani? Asa. Yeah. Yeah. So your point ni poa. Like in your point, ime 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 kutiza wase sana. Uh, the Bible says like Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. 3 that uh, there is time for everything mm -hmm. and a season for everything. So Musaki Saliwa, who among a message specific time, Yaka Kuishi Kwa Earth. Now every time from Fano Kisaliwa Kunakito and Kupangia at 20, yeah, yeah. 30, yes. Fano Mi one be our Jana. Where Usingoji, if you get 50 at Nangoja, say, Kusaki, Chia Uzai, Principal Uzai, 
ghost is true that statement is true mm-hmm. but for you to be in god's time you must be sensitive ujue kwamba hii season god and expect ni fanye nini you be sensitive lakini ukikosa kuwa sensitive alafu kaitoa pongoja at god's time wewe utangoja na nakwambia god hata change bala kwa heaven lakini ndio kuna safa hapa kwa sababu ya kuwa na ujinga wa kusema god's time yafaa ujue god's time but be sensitive in the spirit to realize that actually this is the time for this specific things ujikuwa sensitive kwa spirit utabaki tu unapiga story na by the way kuna mtu alikuwa anasema kwamba Mungu atabaki kuwa Mungu. Yeah. Mungu ataitwa Mungu mponyaji kwa sababu yeah. alishaponya zamani. Yeah. Mungu ataitwa Mungu mshindi kwa sababu alishashinda vita. Yeah. Mungu yani hata asipoponya hata asipokuponya wewe yeah. ambaye wewe ni mgonjwa pale yeah. atabaki kuwa Mungu mponyaji. Yeah. Hata asipokushindia yeah. bado atakuwa Mungu mshindi yeah. kwa sababu ndio maana papa Sipasi amesema God atakuwa to heaven yeah. atakuwa pale pale. Yeah. And then nakumbuka kuna kuna hii verse uh, Jeremiah. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter 1 inasema kwamba nilikujua kabla uzaliwe. Yeah. Alafu uh, verse 5. Alafu kikuja Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Yeah. Inakuja nasema kwamba nina mipango mizuri na wewe. Yeah. Mipango yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what, 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 what wengi most of the time they use this verse. Uh, ji, ji unongelea vipi hii? Na ni wakristo wengi wanasema kwamba uh, okay the, kuna, kuna verse ambazo zinapikiwa zina sana. Most of the time ukienda any congregation yeah. lazima utasikia hiyo verse ulikuwa nasema uh, Philippians 4 uh, 4:13 yeah. utakuja kusikia verse ya 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 ya, 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 ya Jeremiah uh, 29:11. Je, yeah. wewe una alafu unaona amaona pale juu kuna kitu fulani kibaya lakini anakuja na ruka upo what, what do you to, uh, think about that eh? 9/11 ndio maana nasikua nasema hivi my 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 friend usikuwa na shika kabasi kamoja unachomoka nako uh, you need to go deep lo mesema hapa Naam. into the word to get clear understanding because understanding ndio inakusaidia ku survive kwa hii earth like me as a pastor i discovered one thing yes. that you need to discover the principles and the wisdom in the word of god to operate on this earth and your faul. Kwa hiyo ukishika basi moyo useme kwa mfano eh god has good plans for me. Yeah. Plans to prosper. Eh uh-huh. eh to fail. Mm. Na umemaliza uni. Uh-huh. Uko na certificate. Uh-huh. Job itakutafuta kwa nyumba. Haiwezi. <laughs> Haiwezi. <laughs> Lazima utoke. Lazima seven ask Matthew 77 uh-huh. and shall be given. Uh-huh. Seek unajifungia kwa nyumba unaitia vitu azita kama mm-hmm. kwa sababu kuna principle ya kupata hiyo kitu unataka mm-hmm. good plan iko lakini hiyo plan haitaka mm-hmm. penye uko mm-hmm. utaweka kufanya kitu alafu <laughs> 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 kuna wale ambao they think kwamba uh, kuna wale ambao kuna nilishaenda kanisa fulani wakasema kwamba uh, kuna watu ambao wako tu wanaomba wanaomba they always pray yes. they always pray yani yes. ni watu ambao wanaomba but you can see anything yes. yeah uh, ni wale watu tu hadi hadi wanatumiwa kama mifano na wale watu ambao ni wa, wanasema wajiokoka wasema yes. ah kama nani anaomba yes. uh, hakuna uh, kitu ina happen yes. uh, so so maana um, ma, ya maombe ni nini eh? Uh-huh. So prayer is spiritual. Uh-huh. You can't use uh, spiritual things uh-huh. to so, to solve physical things. Uh-huh. Uh, principles believe me here my friend. Uh-huh. Prayer uh-huh. will show you what to do. Uh-huh. Prayer is not equivalent to what you have to do. <laughs> for instance when you are praying for god to open uh, 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 your eyes uh-huh. maybe to see uh-huh. what he has planned for you he yeah. will open your eyes as you pray you uh-huh. will see uh-huh. but it's not equivalent to what you have to do uh-huh. to what you want to become uh-huh. you see uh-huh. so kwa hivyo prayer is spiritual machine uh-huh. it opens doors but uh-huh. once it opens door, you have to step in the door uh-huh. because if a door is open and you don't cross the door <laughs> you will not enter the room yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. so prayer is powerful uh-huh. 
Danganye, mm -hmm. prayer is a powerful tool. Mm -hmm. But listen to me. Mm -hmm. For instance, if mm -hmm. you're not you're not a giver, yes. if you're not a hard worker, uh -huh. be a prayer man, mm -hmm. prayerful man, mm -hmm. but a poor man, mm -hmm. you will not miss heaven. You will go to heaven. Like in Kwai Dunia, Udasafa. 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 Kwanza kuanzia kuanzia tu penye umewachia hapo. Kama unasikia hii message in mm -hmm. yako bro. Eh eh eh. In the yako sasa. Uh -huh. I always tell young people. Kuna young people they are serving God yes. Mm -hmm. Alafu unawapata Mm -hmm. church Monday, mm -hmm. church Tuesday, mm -hmm. church Wednesday, mm -hmm. church Thursday. Mm -hmm. As your church work at ya ameandika church. <laughs> Unani get? Alafu unasikia uh, young person kama kukwambia you know pasi na tarajia kumare. But, eh, <laughs> the Bible says uh, in Azeba that God told Adam yes. he may knew this land to till. Mm -hmm. After the land tilling, mm -hmm. Adam Aka create woman mm -hmm. and brought to Adam. So mm -hmm. Alimpafa Mkwanza and the Kuitil na Kushikia Kila Kitu. Yes. Aka let a wife. Eh. Wife a kuja de mtafte chakudu ki mm. fanyika kudu. Mm -hmm ndio wife akakaa no mse kama huyo uko church unafanya mzuri una serve god but kumbuka kuna scripture nasema he who does not provide for his family is worse than an unbeliever so which means ukikaa church if you throw out in church na kitu na do god is not happy with you so we want to church una do everything good putting the work of god yes but usipoje shukulisha na hands god hayuko happy na wewe god Alafu kuna <laughs> Alafu kuna 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 kuna, kuna hii hii yes. ambayo nimeona watu wakitumia sana. Yes. Anasema kama Mungu alikuja maskini. Yes. Hiyo ni lie. <laughs> Mungu alikuja kila msee. Tajiri wasema nasikia tajiri wote enda mbinguni. It's a lie. It's a lie. Eh, came for everyone. Kuna msi mtoto wa yule in Matthew chapter 5. Anasema blessed are the poor in the spirit for they shall see. Let's say poor in the spirit. Spirit kuli ugali. Spirit ina kula neno la Mungu. Kwa hivyo ikisema blessed are the poor in the spirit. Naongea wale wenye wana desire. Get neno la Mungu kila wakati. Mm -hmm. As the poverty the Bible is talking about. Mm -hmm. Lakini Mungu anataka wasi wa kuenda pesa, uh -huh. wasaidie wale wenye hawajiwezi, mm -hmm. wasimame na kazi yake. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo Biblia inasema that Jesus was very rich but for your sake he became poor that you might become rich kuna scripture so inamanisha mungu hata kisisi tukai life mungu kuna hizo wende uka preach america kwa mungu kwa tumbio hapa mbulio Sema mimi ndio huyo South Africa Johannesburg nipeleke neno la Mungu naweza never uh, never uh -huh. ukiingia kwa ndege hautaongea uh -huh. in tanks bro utalipa <laughs> ticket ukiambia so, uh -huh. ati Mungu alikujea poor people udanganya uh -huh. because uh -huh. alisema go in the world the whole world and spread the gospel uh -huh. na hizo countries ambali pia ni the whole world yes. so ukitaka kwenda huko utalipa ticket na ticket haulipi kwa kupresent <laughs> Biblia 
Mhm. Eh unalipa ticket kwa Eh, mtazama kweli 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 kweli. Mtazamaji kumbuka uh, the topic of the today ni stand firm. Uh, text ni Ephesians uh, 6 uh, chapter 11 uh, verse 6 verse uh, chapter 11 uh, tunazungumzia standing firm na tuko tu hapo hapo ndani. Hapo hapo tu ndani. Na nani kwa nataka kuzungumza hili swali mchungaji labda kuna kuna standing firm ina ina inakuonyesha ina, ina kwamba wewe pia mkristo kuna wakristo ambao uh, they move from one church to another. Yes. Anatoka hii kanisa anatafuta neno fulani anahama anaenda hii anatoka hii anatafuta neno fulani anahama anaenda hii like anazunguka there is something ama kuna mwingine pia amekuja kwa hii kanisa tu aombe akipokea amepotea ameenda Watu watu wanakuja church na different intentions mm-hmm. and different expectations. Mm-hmm. Sasa sipopata expectation yenye alikuja na hama. Nataka mm-hmm. nikwambie three quarters to, of, of, of the things that uh, you expect na zifanyiki. Mm-hmm. Makosa inakuanga wewe. Yeah. Haikuangi church. Yeah. Makosa inakuwa wewe. Three quarters of the things that go wrong. You as a believer. You as a, you as a, as a, as a, as a pastor. You as a believer, not mm-hmm. the pastor of the church. Mm-hmm. Wewe mwenye unahama hama church. Mm-hmm. Three quarters ya shida zako mm-hmm. wewe mwenye. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with the pastor. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Kwa sababu unapata mm-hmm. ile Biblia wana preach hapa. Mm-hmm. Ndio ile wana preach kule. Mm-hmm. Ile wana preach kule. Mm-hmm. Ndio ile wana preach kule. Lakini wewe uko na vitu tunaita each years. Yes. Ukienda church na usiwekee mkono, ah huyo pastor yako chini. <laughs> Kuna vile <laughs> kuniweka mkono. Yeah, yeah. Ukienda church na kusikwe na youth wanaimba, mm-hmm. mzee hiyo church iko down. Yeah. Praise and worship iko down. Yeah. Ukienda church nyingine upate mimi pastor anaitisha hiyo siku ni harambe. Uh-huh. Ah mzee hapo kwa kutoa. Ni <laughs> siko. Uh-huh. Lakini ukiangalia hizo vitu zote umehepo kwa hizo church. Zote ni vitu ambazo zinahitajika kwa church. Uh-huh. Which means ukikaa chini na usikize vitu zinaendelea na ujiri evaluate your life personal life wewe mwenyewe uh-huh. uta succeed bila kuruka ruka chache. Mhm. Mhm. Ah, alafu kuna ile swali pia. Kuna 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 yule anasema kwamba okay tuko church. Mm-hmm. Ini church we are standing firm bado. Mm-hmm. Tuko church uh, kuna pasi na kuna washirika. Mm-hmm. Lakini pasi ni kama uh, kidogo uh, he prays a lot. Alafu yeah. yuko just financially unstable. Unajua? Yes. Na kuna washirika ambao wako financially stable. Yeah. So hapo pasi like uh, before I'm going to stand firm. Okay. Hapo kwa madha before I'm to stand firm, and I'm going to go to the I'm stand firm. I'm going to go to the I'm the things that are for the period of Oh, of earth today yeah, yeah. but there is eternity manze mm-hmm. na eternity inaenda vile ulifanya kazi yako ya Mungu kwa hii dunia mm-hmm. hii nasema that those of us who are teachers or pastors yeah. will be judged more strictly than you wase mmeka hapa mna ni interview na wale wanasikiza church mm-hmm. sisi ambao ni mapasi will be judged more strictly kwa sabisi tulipewa assignment mm-hmm. ya kufunza wase mm-hmm. najua kula ni issue food mm-hmm. ni issue kila mahali mm-hmm. but if you trust God mm-hmm. God can still provide mm-hmm. Mungu anaweza guza mtu mwenye hata hayuko church yako mm-hmm. na akakuja akasimama na wewe akakusupport mm-hmm. so long as una stop kuweka macho yako kwa wase mm-hmm. unaweka macho yako kwa Mungu mm-hmm. kwa sababu yeye ataguza mtu mwingine mwenye hata hayuko church kwa mfano mm-hmm. unaweza tu unafanya online service yeah. na mtu anakuona huko marhabit mm-hmm. anabarikiwa na neno lako na mm-hmm. kuja pasi nipe namba yako mm-hmm. anakusukumia kama ka 50k mm-hmm. hapo mnafaa mseme amen amen mchungaji akikutumia hapo ka 50k anakusot eh kweli lakini ukitarajia wale watatu wanne uko nao utapata stress basi unajua ule msemi mwenye maybe the way you are saying marhabit na unajua sasa hizi kwa biashara ya til. Yeah. <laughs> so kidogo we compromise the situation. Aju kuna ole mse kuna ole ko genuine. Na kuna ole mse mwenye ako zile za okay. Yeah. To the end of the day nime come to understand. Okay. As as much as we are living uh, uh, this era. Yes. There are so many there are so many problems. 
Okay, uh, maybe maybe kwangu food is kwa shida but there is something I'm struggling with. Yes. So ukisema okay uh, you are standing kwa kwa mashida za watu and then you are taking advantage then utachukua advantage for so many people. Yeah <laughs> so ni kama unjanielewa po. Sijasema huyo mse Omar Sam si kusema ako na shida. Nilisema tu kwa huko issue yake ile ule mse nataka nikueleze kwa kwa huyo mse Omar Sam nimesema ume preach tu na akabarikiwa akafurahia na akasema mimi nataka ni support ministry ya Pasi. No. Okay. Wow. Eh, kuna watu kama hao. That's genuine. Yeah. That's genuine from the heart. Mm-hmm. Si ati sijasema kwa mtu sijasema kwamba huyo mtu ni mgonjwa, mm-hmm. huyo mtu ana shida. Yeah. By the way, Jesus said that it is free. Mhm. Unasikia? Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. Give freely because you are given freely. Mm-hmm. Lakini ukishaombewa upone, sitaki kuhepa hapo. Mm-hmm. Alafu usikie unataka <laughs> <laughs> ulete kitu kusema asante. Mm-hmm. Na noma, yeah. na profile mapasi. Mm-hmm. Paka pas mwingine ukimuona hivi anataka atoroke. Hapana, mm-hmm. wewe ukiombewa upone, mm-hmm. you feel like you okay. feel to do something you can. Mm-hmm. Lakini that healing should not be attached with something. Mm-hmm. Siku attached at eh uh, uko na cancer, ukipona mm-hmm. Ndaleta mm-hmm. ngombe gani no mm-hmm. sasa hii ni square agreement square agreement ni to wrong na je kuna 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 wale pasta ambao wanasema kwamba okay mtu ameni, amekuja ameniambia kwamba okay ni muombe kuna kitu fulani ambacho uh, aki, akiendi sawa yes. amekipata yes. na amepotea there is a time nilikuwa kwa kanisa fulani alafu huyu pasta alikuwa ni kama anadai yeah. <laughs> alikuwa ni kama anadai huyu mtu <laughs> yani mimi nakuombea napata pesa na uwezi leta hata fungo la 10 hapa yeah. eh, so eh. nataka niseme hiyo kitu si support mm-hmm. lakini na understand huyo pasi kwa sababu mimi ni pasi hiyo uh-huh. kitu si support yeah. lakini na understand huyo pasi uh-huh. Uh-huh. frustration sasa zingine tunataka kupush mapasi sana uh-huh. lakini huyo jamaa mimi namuelewa kwa level yake uh-huh. kwa sababu huyo uh-huh. jamaa ameona mtu mwenye potential ange support charge mm-hmm. ametoroka na kwa mm-hmm. vile ha, hana hiyo hana hiyo capacity mm-hmm. ya kuresist hiyo kitu mm-hmm. inamshinda anatoka ana bubble mm-hmm. that thing is wrong mm-hmm. wewe ukisaidia mtu akifaulu yaenda akienda mm-hmm. akirudi aki asema asante ni sawa asikosema mm-hmm. sio Mungu anakubariki ana, sio mtu anakubariki mm-hmm. Mungu atakaye kubariki mm-hmm. akiona hii ulifanya hii ulifanya mwenyewe mm-hmm. kwa njia yake atakubariki mm-hmm. so mimi support hiyo kitu kabisa Uh-huh. Na do you know pasi na mueleo? Na do you think kama hiyo kitu inezafanya wewe pasi achu, achukie Mungu labda? Ah, uh, ina depend. Si atachukia Mungu. <coughs> Lakini kulingana vile wanasema vile anaongea, si wewe achachukie mse. Naona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Achukia mse kwa sababu kwa <coughs> moyo wake akikaa kwa sababu anasema ah huyu jamaa ni msevu. Sasa <coughs> yamepanda kwa kitu. Hata ukipita na gari yako hata anakuambia mabaya sasa kwa sababu unaona huyu achatoa kwa njia. Yeah, yeah. Ya kuwa mtu wa Mungu. <coughs> Ameenda kwa level nyingine ambayo ni mbaya. Kweli. Mimi huwa naambia hivi mapasi. Kwa sababu mimi mse niko na experience. Yeah a hey, ministry mm-hmm. uziweke moyo wa, uziweke moyo wako kwa watu mm-hmm. ati sasa umuse kila kitu umeweka kwa mshirika ama kwa mtu hapa mm-hmm. these are human beings what a yeah. disappoint kecho mm-hmm. what you do put your trust in god because the bible say cast is a man who puts mm-hmm. his trust in a man mm-hmm. blessed is a man who puts his trust in god what mm-hmm. side am say lakini usiweke hapo moyo wako kitarajia kitu <laughs> saidi ya mseo kitarajia mungu ya yeah, takulipa yaa yeah. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> naona leo mna mungu ulimeni ala mbaku ya school ya ee kwele 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 ok in one of the meetings ok uh, is a way back yes uh, kuna ule uh, iltokea tu uh, mm-hmm. kwa mkutana ni kahapeni likuwa pale mm-hmm. then this jamaa uh, ni kijana then alikuwa me jam tu sana that yeah. uh, you guys Uh, muna point people to uh, like for me Viano is a point people to us mm-hmm. but it really sends me mimi sikutaki sitaki Viano mimi nataka Jesus yes. mimi pasi wewe una handle your situation a point what sija kuelewa vizuri like 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 mimi I'm a brand yes. si ndio nikishuka oh. place yes. mzee mimi nataka wasi wanione yes. but kwa hiyo crowd kuna mzee ako na noma au mzee amekuja amekuja in a genuine way yes. nataka Jesus mm. but ju mimi ni Viano yes. nime block hiyo do Yes. Yeah. Yeah, um nataka niseme kuna ujinga uendelea church. Mm-hmm. Ni kama tu Galatians chapter 3 yenye Paul alisema you foolish guys. <laughs> e, kuna ujinga inaendelea church <laughs> na pia kuna vitu mzuri zinaendelea church. So mimi <laughs> naambia watu eh, tusi focus tu kwa vitu mbaya. <laughs> vitu poa pia zinaendelea church. Hiyo <laughs> kitu nasema mpaka ni handle. Hiyo <laughs> siwezi hepa. <laughs> Inakuja na maseleb 
mm-hmm. eh, inakuja na mapasi mm-hmm. eh, kwa sababu uko na gift flani ukifika mahali unataka kila msaa wache kila kitu wanafanya uh-huh. mide papa wafanya hizo vitu zote mm-hmm. nataka ni kwambie hivi sisi wote tunamwabudu Yesu Mm-hmm. So kila kitu tunafanya mm-hmm. ya fatu focus kwa Jesus yeah. Iyo diyo kitu moja nataka wasi wajui mm-hmm. Na any person mwenye anaitisha vitu kwake mm-hmm. uh, is, 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 um, is trying to fight with God mm-hmm. Because anytime unaleta watu kwako mm-hmm. You are taking God's glory mm-hmm. And that's not something that God cannot allow you to take mm-hmm. Because that's what the devil tried in heaven mm-hmm. And he lost his place mm-hmm. Ata miwa nambia wase Kama wani muimbaji mm-hmm. Ukikuja church Ustumbia kama wani unaimba kwa ba Tuambie mm-hmm. lift up your hands to Jesus mm-hmm. Usituambie nipe mikono Atisukua mm-hmm. mikono <laughs> Nipata <laughs> Iyo ndi, ndi DJ anasema Ya 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 Kwa mfano Yani anasema Watu mm-hmm. attention yao mm-hmm. Itatoka kwa Yesu Sidiyo mm-hmm. Alafi narudi kwa mse mm-hmm. Kwa sababu vila meji brand mm-hmm. Vila nasema yo nipe mikono uh-huh. And all that stuff so, yeah. Yo stuff mi nasema Siyo poa mm-hmm. Tuache hiyo Mm-hmm. Once una concentrate kwa Mungu, mm-hmm. Mungu atafanya upate breakthrough mm-hmm. bila kungangana. Mm-hmm. Wow. Ah, na nimekumbuka Viana amekuuliza swali nikakumbuka Weba kuna kitu mimi nishaifanya acha nikuulize ndio. Yes. <laughs> kuna 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 hawa wachungaji when they arrive wakifika tu hivi yeah. kama mmeka unaachana na kila kitu yes. mnasimama. Yeah. Then when he is preaching mimi nishai kwa uh, moja kwamba mchungaji anahubiri kisha na mpanguza jasho. Sijui yeah. nini tena nakimbia tena na mpangusha jasho nini ki hata nishaipigwa kwa office kumoja jeu ongelea vipi hayo mambo um there is what we call honor yeah. bible says that give honor to those honor is due mm-hmm. kuna kitu inaitwa honor mm-hmm. kuna kitu inaitwa obedience mm-hmm. and pia kuna kitu inaitwa um, mm-hmm. <coughs> blind obedience mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yani obedience ile na kaujinga mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. nataka ni seme mm-hmm. There is you you are attracting some attention mm-hmm. that is going to make someone miss mm-hmm. the point you are saying. Yeah. Kwa mfano kwa watu kupanguza jasho, huyo pasi hata kosa mbinguni, mm-hmm. ni ataenda. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwa vile hiyo kitu vile anayofanya mm-hmm. so uh-huh. distract him say uh-huh. kutoka kwa Mungu. Mm-hmm. Mimi as mm-hmm. I feel uh-huh. it is not necessary to go to that extent. Mm-hmm. It's not necessary. Mm-hmm. Lakini imaanishi wale wanafanya watakosa bingu. Hapana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for me I feel it is not necessary mm-hmm. kuenda to that level mm-hmm. so you are drawing attention ya wase mm-hmm. sa zingine tuseme labda unafika hivi mm-hmm. washa kamu kupanguja mm-hmm. mini mai kuwa place niki preach mutu wakatoka tuko kuja wakani ya mkia migu uh-huh. kansa kunipanguza mina preach nika ishtuka uh-huh. <laughs> kwa sabu yu ni kitu mi personally uh-huh. si janzoea yes. kumbe yu ni culture ambayo imewekwa mahali pale uh-huh. no, ni culture ambayo imewekwa mahali pale uh-huh. mina taku sema uyo pasi hata kwa sababu kwa sababu kuna kitu mbaya nafanya pale lakini mm-hmm. inafanya watu ina distract watu yeah, yeah. from the concentration mm-hmm. na hiyo sio poa mm-hmm. that which, which simply means mm-hmm. you can still avoid it mm-hmm. and preach the gospel eh yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, hey, kama one. una kama una comment ama swali and uh, one thing i love the, about the praise mix is that uh, you're talking about kitu ambacho ina happen real life uh, yeah and the real life ambao at the end of the day mtu aki watch then anakuta naye out anaweza pata mm. solution hapa na pale. Acha yes. tukuje kwa the point ya truth. Yes. Na my youth. Yes. Because uh, okay, hata nitumie jana because get me kwa conversation with a lot of uh, vijana. Yes. And then uh, this uh, kulikuwa na one of the guys akawa anasema okay, wewe well, until uh, you ma- umalize high school then yes. utaniambia story ya boyfriend, girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but so long as you high school mzee achana na hapo. And then this lady was like she was like okay, Uh, at this point let me stick uni uni as in boundary <laughs> then uh, i realize okay i'm a vijana at the end of the day sit na kaka kama tuashiki mm-hmm. lakini wanataka ukweli of which sisi ambao tuko juu pale mm-hmm. hivyo ama get keepers mm-hmm. tumewanyima hiyo ukweli mm-hmm. tunawapeleka okay left right but at the end of the day watasema gra- kwa ground vitu ni different mm-hmm. so wana handleaje truth Yes. Um, I think mimi Mungu ameniita sana kwa ministry ya vijana. 
kwa sababu hii tama alone mimi mm-hmm. nime preach nime preach there boys there me boys mm-hmm. nime preach baptist girls mm-hmm. nimekuwa last friday nimekuwa KMTC webuye nimekuwa mm-hmm. KMTC bungoma hizi shule zote huenda mm-hmm. na nafikiri eh, Mungu amenipa hiyo kipawa kwa sababu ya ukweli yenye anaambia youth mm-hmm. mimi ukikuja niki preach mm-hmm. hautaona story hivi nikwambia mm-hmm. right direct kwa kichwa vile vitu zinaka mm-hmm. kwa mfano hiyo story umeniuliza ati msana sema sio lazima amalize for fond ya kwenda boyfriend mm-hmm. and girlfriend mimi mm-hmm. ambia wasetu swali moja mm-hmm. is boyfriend and girlfriend biblical can you be able to quote for me where jesus or, or god said go ye and make a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> story yote inya iko kwa biblia wacha kuni waste na hiyo because of marriage what is marriage it is a union between a man and a woman who is a man a man is someone who is able to provide for his family without struggle so wewe uko form 2 unabaiwa mpaka boxer bro Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. you are you know a man you are a boy so story a boyfriend na a girlfriend does not arise so the marriage is between man and woman so kama hauko hapo so that's the truth of the bible hey you are not a man you are not a woman you are still a boy and you are still a girl nikikuuliza story nikuuliza why are you in a relationship Mm-hmm. If he's a man is in relation because he wants to get children he wants companionship mm-hmm. he wants to make a family mm-hmm. so wait, wait, for me too wanasema for fun wanasema for fun for fun for fun and you are, you hii <laughs> kitu sasa mmeileta mpaka ni address uh-huh. biblia nasema hivi uh-huh. <coughs> ukisoma i think it is first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 yes says that flee from fornication uh-huh. because all other sins happen outside the body mm-hmm. but the sin of fornication mm-hmm. is the sin the only sin that happens within your flesh mm-hmm. so sex before marriage is sin bro is sin how when the heaven na usikae hapo upate pasi ama mtu ameokoka akupake pake mafuta in life true story yesu akikamsa hii kama una fornicate huendi ndio mimi hata rosa hiyo umehata hiyo umehata na si leti kwa unajua kuna pasi wakisema kama hii unataka kutishie sijui nini nakwambia life huendi alafu iko na consequences hiyo kitu nafanya iko na consequences because we are spirits mm-hmm. inside before we are physical mm-hmm. so wana ambia wa save if you because the bible says that if you sleep mm-hmm. with a man you become one in the spirit mm-hmm. that means ukilana na wase 10 mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. you have you have you have been married with 10 spirits ndio unapata msichana anaza first born mwezi second born mchawi third born wizard fourth born mdinga kwa sababu spirit wase wote alilala nao wameanza ku manifest sasa wakati anafika in marriage you can avoid that thing okay how can you handle that situation because uh, as you are speaking right now yes. is one of the uh, um, uh, sector Yes. Ambao unapata most of our maybe our vijana yes. wana struggle nayo. Yes. Yeah, there are two or three four but yes. that one uh kika kwa top 5 yes. ama top 3 is one of the is one of the enemy. so yeah. as as a, as a, a minister in church yes. and uh ma vile umekuwa unazungumza umetembea mashule kadha hapa na yes. pale what is that thing that we can do okay so that at the end of the day ha vijana ambao wanatazama sasa hizi mm. ama yule yuko pale aneza kuwa in a good space to handle that situation yes. uh, maybe yeye kwa yeye binafsi aneza handle kuliko exactly. wategemee mtu mwingine ama ajipate kwa the same situation sawa so yeah. mimi kitu kwanza nataka niseme uh, as as minister some of us we have lost love for this young people <coughs> kwa sababu sasa alifanya mistake moja some two years ago it doesn't make him a devil man mm-hmm. yeah. so first of all we must show these people love mm-hmm. because myself i is open up issue kama hiyo kama hakuna upendo mm-hmm. we need to show these young people that we love them mm-hmm. and we care for them mm-hmm. once we show them that they will come close and mm-hmm. you najua mnakutana na youth mm-hmm. chance a relationship now you become closer to them when mm-hmm. you open up okay yeah. jay manze mimi na feel hivi this is what i'm going through so the first thing is us to show them love Mm-hmm. to show them that they are not they are mm-hmm. not the devil himself mm-hmm. they might have made a mistake but they mm-hmm. still come to back to jesus mm-hmm. ndio kwanza mm-hmm. two ni kwamba associate yourself mm-hmm. with things of the church things mm-hmm. of the kingdom mm-hmm. unaona kitu kama hii sasa sasa mm-hmm. um, um, 
inaitwa show kama hii uh -huh. show kama hii sasa ndio show ya far kila asubuhi sunday mm -hmm. kabla urash cha chien mm -hmm. create time na watch show kama hii mm -hmm. it, it, it teaches you and it helps you to know what to do mm -hmm. attend his meetings za youth they mm -hmm. preach wanafunza youth una, mm -hmm. associate na wasi ambao wanapenda kutu za Mungu mm -hmm. you start there Mm -hmm. because every person carries the environment mm -hmm. listen nilikuwa na mzee mwingine akasema hapa si mimi natembea na wasee smoke lakini mimi si smoke sikamwambia hata tutoe sasa biblia mm -hmm. scientists wanasema ule mzee anakaa karibu na mzee ana smoke the birds of smoke fan the birds of the same feathers we are not smoking mm -hmm. carbon dioxide ikitoka carbon monoxide we uh, we yeah. <laughs> karibu you are doing something that is more for us yeah yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. now he walks with wise becomes wise mm -hmm. and a companion of fools will be destroyed yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so ukitembea na wase wenye hawaendani na njia za Mungu hapo ndio utapotea mm -hmm. so the best way to handle this thing is come close to God come close to the people that talk about the kingdom of God ukifanya hivyo kama youth utakuwa jisoto alafu kuna kuna hii story ninakumbuka nilikutana na kijana mmoja unajua nilienda kanisa fulani uh, sandi yes, yes. then there is this story ambayo iliweza kuibuka kwamba okay kuna kuna, kuna wazazi ambao hawako uh, hawako so friendly kwa watoto wao yes. so kuna mtoto ambaye alijipata kwamba amejoin illuminati yes. but this this girl before join pale alijoinishwa tu yeye yeah, kwa amejua yes. na alikuwa naomba sana unajua mzazi pia alikuwa mombezi pia so huu msichana alikuwa naomba sana she was praying 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 praying, praying. lakini like, ilifika muda fulani ambapo yes. msichana aliweza kuanza kurudisha viwango vyake chini yes. haombi alikuwa anamka saa sita usiku akiomba ah mm. mzazi asiki sauti mm. hata mzazi pia akisema mke aombe uh, asiki kitu ki, uh, sauti yote ambayo inamwambia so this time there this time this sunday to live under kanisani um, um, msichana kaja aka 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 sijui ni holy spirit ilishuka then umsiana kawa ni kama ana nini akaza wana manifest manifestation ika take place deliverance ika take place then akasema vitu zote na nakumbuka kwamba aliweza kufanya hivyo kwa sababu alikuwa amekusana na msiana alikuwa amemuingiza kwa 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 labda kwa kwa devil worship je unaweza kuzungumzia vipi swala kama hilo kwa yule 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 mzazi na yule kijana ambaye upo shuleni anataka ku stand firm bado nataka nianze na mzazi mtoto wako haezi stand firm ni kwa sababu wewe ni pastor kuna wasen ni kutana nao akaniambia tuko mbona watoto wa pastor wanasumbwa some pastors wanasimu kwa vile wewe ni pasi it is automatic bro si automatic you have to make intentional steps yeah za kusaidia huyo mtoi wako create time with those children create time listen to them as a parent hiyo ndio naweza encourage mzazi yote anasikia leo open discussion talk to these children pray for them speak to them yeah. you create time mimi uenda kurana na watoto wangu nifika nyumbani naweza obeba toko mgongo nikakimbia na mimi bado ni pasi naweza kaa nao waniulize maswali eh kwa leo asubuhi ndio mtoto wangu alikuwa ananiuliza dadi eh uliamkaje siku moja na ukao ujipata umeokoka mm -hmm. so kama hauko friendly yeah, yeah. ha, mtoto hawezi pata kitu kama hiyo mtoto mm -hmm. afa kuwe free kwamba akifunga shule akuje kwambie nikutana na rafiki yangu akasema hivi na akasema mm -hmm. hivi kwa yeah. mfano mtoto wangu akiwa class 8 msichana mm -hmm. aliniuliza kwamba dadi kuna kijana alikuja akaniambia ana ni like na anataka mimi nikuwe girlfriend wake sikia response yangu mm -hmm. nilimwambia there is nothing wrong with that boy he's just mm -hmm. being a boy <laughs> There is nothing. Lakini <laughs> wewe unasema nikupate. Na na na. It makes the girl freeze. Mimi yeah. mwambia there is nothing wrong with that boy. Mm -hmm. The boy is just being a boy. Mm -hmm. The only problem is he's not well. Mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. So this is not the time. You mm -hmm. don't hate that boy. Mm -hmm. Just tell him it is not time for mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. You are not much way enough mm -hmm. for those things. Mm -hmm. But the boy has no problem. He mm -hmm. just being a boy. Uh -huh. So he's only supposed to be guided. Yeah. But you see, ninge chukwa kiboko ni muhit, ni mwetreten. Next time I kufika form 2 the same thing happen. Haizi ni ambi. Ah kweli. Hai hai hai. Naona ni kama tena nakimbiza kidogo. Kuna kuna swali limeulizwa hapa kwamba kuna mtu ambaye ni Mkristo lakini anatoka na wake za watu sana. Lakini akienda kanisani ana 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 preach ku ku ana preach Jesus. Na na anatoka na bibi za watu. Je, what do you talk about that? Yeah, immorality is sin and anyone who is immoral if he does not repent and change he is not entering the kingdom of God. You can see. <laughs> Nataka ni admit kwamba kuna wasewa kora. <laughs> so watu wanasema ati 
uh, pastor mm -hmm. who is immoral. This is not pastor who is immoral. <laughs> this is an immoral person Pass who on. is calling himself a pastor. <laughs> To change your story, <laughs> yeah, yeah. pastor Imoro. Yeah. Uno mu say Imoro, yeah. anajita pa. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. So usijida ngani? Iyo kiti na happen. I was preaching to young people in Kwambia. Mm -hmm. There is no man who can give you a free gift mm -hmm. unless it's your is your father at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> who else? Maybe your mother. Mm -hmm. But no, there is no man who can give you a free gift. Mm -hmm. They will collect it. Mm -hmm. Kuna wasichana wanakula pesa ya wase, wanakula chips ya wase, wanakula kuku, na wanatembele ya wase, na wanatrajia kiti sifanyike, ati wanudi intact, bro, unajidanganya. So wacha kuzoea vitu za free. <laughs> Zita kuletea noma. Hakuna kitu ya free utapewa. Kweli, kweli, kweli. Muzaa kupea kitu, ati wanatrajia kitu kutoka kwako. <laughs> eh, so kuna wase wajanja, wanatumia hizo, hizo ma gifts, gift, gifts, <laughs> shika wasichana. Yeah. So ule mtu wamewuza, so wanatoka ni muambi that is wrong. Huyo mm -hmm. mtu ya faa saidiwe. Uh -huh. mm. Viano kama una, kuna mbili tatu kwa sababu unaona mdu umenda sana. Ok. Wanasema uh -huh. so umekula fea nduthi ya matatu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kula ndegi watafaya nini. <laughs> well, this is a conversation inye kwa hapo inje. Na leo we just diving into uh, uh, an open discussion. I remember mm -hmm. I was back to school. Uh, kuna wala nafunza na shuleni. Hapa na pale. Mekwanzia next. Kwanzia Monday, Tuesday. So na watakia kila laheri. Uki dive into that season. That you can be able to stand firm. I'll see you. That's why tumeza kumualika mtumishi wa mungu, Pastor Dominic, to make sure that anangazi ya mambo mawidi matatu. Because sekta yake sana ni mayuth hapo mvijana. Wacha tuambia ni ukwe? Ukwe. Ndiyo. So, nikipiti hapo hivi, kuna Joseph, thank you so much for tuning in. And then kuna anaitua nani? Anaitua Yebs. Anasuma yuko ndani, tuning in all the way from Indivisi. Show yuko vizuri sana. And then kuna anaitua Irene, Pastor Dominic, ameni blessed too sana. Aya, basi Pastor Dominic, labda utombie, labda watu watakupata vipi kwa sababu nana tarajasi juu kama mtuongena viano kidogo njuni kama hii topic pia itaendeleza part 2 siji venye mtelewana ila kama ni nzuri sana labda utambia watu wana kupata vipi kama wana nabari ya simu wapi kwa sababu kuna yula mba hame kusikiza na nataka sasa kukua kuinteract na wewe ye mwenyeo personally labda ya so kwa hivyo kama wana ntafta facebook ni dominic osianju dominic wafula account yangu main dominic wafula pia niko na youtube channel ambayo ni Pastor Dominic wa Fula kuna preaching skada pale kufika hapo ni, ni poa sana utaona vitu ambazo za kubless na kuchange life yako pia unaweza nipata kwa 0713259875 0713259875 yu ndiyo namba yangu ukintafuta wakati wote utanipata Amen. Amen. Labda utuombe, utuombe tu tumalize hii shake section, ndo tuende kwa section nyingine. Asante. So mm -hmm. kabla niombe na taku sema DJ Piano, thanks sana. Uh, thanks my friend. Asante. Kwa shopoa. Uh -huh. Na shukuru sana. And uh -huh. I believe God, there are people who are changed. Yeah, yeah. Kaka ni wambie, uh -huh. you what you are doing. God will reward you. Amen, amen. Kwa 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 mna kwa na mapasta hapa na zao kwa mbe yo kitu. What you are doing is just what we are doing. God will reward you for what you are doing. Amen, amen. So, ataka tuombe. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this session that we have dealt with the issues of young people. Thank you that you have given us grace. And I pray for every young person that has have heard your word today. The word of change. There are things that we have touched that maybe they are going through. I pray for them, my Father, that what they are going through, you will give them grace to overcome. You will give them grace to win. Thank you for each one of us. I pray for this station that you will strengthen them more. They will continue enlightening the society and teaching your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, in God there is no viableness, uh, no shadows of turning. Mm. He will just do all that he says Amen. he will do. Tunazama, tukizuka, tunazuka na atwalt.